Nikon Z9 costs twice as much as Nikon Z6 II. But the question is, does it have twice as much brain and muscle under the hood to justify the price? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome to Touch Life Studio. My name is Vitaly, and this is the place where we talk about photography, studio, portraits, weddings, all that good stuff. So what we want to talk about is many of you know that Z9 or Z9, depending what part of the world you're part of, has come out and started to ship. But the question is, I'm looking as an engineer and I'm thinking to myself, wow, it has a pretty hefty price of $55 hundred dollars for a flagship camera. Now I'm recording this video with Z6 II, which is a fantastic camera. It costs two thousand dollars. So the question is two thousand dollars versus fifty five hundred dollars. Does it justify the price? So let's see how it compares on specifications alone. Nikon Z6 II comes with 24.5 megapixels. Nikon Z9 comes with 45 megapixels. So this is nearly twice as many megapixels. So I guess the price is justified. Nikon Z6 II has dual XP6 processors. Z9 has XP7 processor which is apparently 10 times as fast as what's in Nikon Z6 II. So I guess the price is justified. Nikon Z6 II has eight thousandths of a second when it comes to shutter speed. Nikon Z9 has one thirty-two thousandths of a second, which is four times as fast when it comes to shutter speed. So I guess the price is justified. Nikon Z6 II can shoot at 14 frames per second. And this is very good for this kind of camera. Now Z9 on the other hand can shoot at 20 frames per second in RAW or 120 frames per second stills at 11 megapixels. Now this is absolutely crazy. There's no camera on the market that available to consumers like you and I that has this kind of speed. And this is nearly eight and a half times faster than Nikon Z9. So I guess the price is justified. Nikon Z9 too shoots when it comes to video at 4K 60 frames per second. And this is fantastic. Great picture quality. 420 8-bit at 422 10-bit externally. Now on the other hand Z9 shoots at 8K at 60 frames per second. At least this is what we know with the firmware coming. And at 422 10-bit internally and ProRes 422HQ at 10-bit. So I guess the price is justified. Nikon Z6 II has a record limit of 29 minutes and 59 seconds. Z9 has over two hours of record limits at 8K. So, and no overheating. I guess the price is justified. Nikon Z6 II has 273 points when it comes to autofocus points. Nikon Z9 has 493 phase detect autofocus. Again, nearly twice as many. The price is justified. Nikon Z6 II has two memory card slots. One CF Express and one SD card. Z9 has two CF Express cards. Twice as many as what you find in the Z6 II. The price is justified. Nikon Z6 II has a mini HDMI. 
Nikon Z9 has a full HDMI, which is literally twice as larger as the mini HDMI. So I guess the price is justified. Z6 II can shoot 400 shots per battery life. Now, I think it's a little bit understated because my experience is actually I can do a lot more, but this is basically on based on specifications. Nikon, Nikon Z9 can shoot 700 shots per the battery. So this is again nearly twice as much. The price is justified. Nikon Z6 II weighs 1.4 pounds when it comes to body alone. Nikon Z9 weighs 2.6 pounds, nearly twice as much as Nikon Z6 II. So I guess if you're looking at the weight and materials, the price is justified. I hope you found this content educational and entertaining. For more content like this, please consider subscribing so that I know that you like the channel, you like the material, so that I can make more content like this for viewers like you. Thank you.